The Lord is good, amen. Well, I don't know where everybody is, but we're going to start, amen. amen. The Lord is good. Yes, he is. The Bible says the Lord is good, and he is greatly to be praised. I love that word, greatly. That means with everything that is in us, it should be lifting up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Would you give the Lord praise? Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We magnify you, Jesus. Lord, we stir this place with your presence. We fill this place with your anointing. Our focus is on you. Sing a little louder. Louder than the unbelief. Sing a little louder. My weapon is a 
fallen off God you're still sitting in there this is a move Jesus we've been waiting we've been waiting we've been waiting it's time to stand and take our place this is a move we need a move you are the move you are the moon. Whatever you need from the Lord this morning, I hope that you get it. We set our eyes on Jesus. We set our eyes on Jesus. Cause we need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We of you God every day we want more we want more we want more no matter what it takes I'm gonna go after you no matter what we may be feeling God is moving God is moving and we need not to look to the left or to the right, but straight to Him. 
because he is the reason why we're still here. You are the move, God. You're the move that we've been waiting for. So let's grab a hold of it this morning and move with it. Let's not stand still, but move. Hallelujah.
name of Jesus is worthy of all glory and worthy of all honor and worthy of all praise. Would you Hallelujah. give him one more hand of praise? Hallelujah. 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 Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name. It's above all other names. In that name is our healing. In that name is our prosperity. In that name is peace that passes all understanding. The name of Jesus. What a sweet, sweet name. Lord, we've come to declare we love you so much. We're wholly and completely devoted unto you and to your cause in the earth today. We want to know your will. We'll do it. We want to know your ways. We'll follow it. We want to know your mind. We'll think it. Your words will speak it. Just fill us, Lord, again and anew and afresh. Thank you that we can gather in the name of Jesus today as, as a body, many different members, but one body all fitly joined together in love and unity and in faith. And it is by faith we agree in prayer today. For you said, if any two on earth agree, touching anything that they should ask, it shall be done. Church, say that out loud. It shall be done. It shall be done. Come on, let's say it by faith. It shall be done. No, no ifs, no ands, no buts, no doubts. It'll be done by our Father who is in heaven. So we pray for our loved ones right now, Lord. We lift them up before you. We pray health and healing. We thank you that by your stripes they are healed. Right now, even as we pray, healed, healthy, strong. In their bodies, we pray for our loved ones, whether it's a physical healing, financial healing, marital healing, whatever it may be, Lord, heal them. Miracles, signs, wonders. We thank you for that, Lord. We pray for our nation, Lord, as we have preached and prophesied and prayed over this nation, Lord. Let the winds of revival sweep across this land in the name of Jesus Christ. We call these people back to the ways of the Lord. For you said, if we will humble ourselves, seek your face, turn from our wicked ways, you would hear from heaven, you would heal our land. So we pray for revival in the land. We pray for souls to come to Jesus. We pray that the foundation stones of our faith would be dusted off in the hallowed halls of our governing institutions. And we pray, Lord, that this country would come back to the Lordship of Jesus Christ from one side to the other, from top to the bottom, that we would honor your word, that we would honor your name, and that we would honor your presence throughout this land in Jesus' name. And Lord, as our president has requested prayer for him and his family, for his cabinet members, we pray for them today, Lord. And we pray that there would be miracles, miracles. We pray, Lord, not just for his healing, but we pray, Lord, that all of the news stations, all of the media outlets, all of the citizens of this nation, all of the governing uh, uh, presidents and kings and ministers throughout the earth today would see a miracle manifest in that man and that they would have to step back and say, a miracle has happened. The hand of God is upon that nation. The hand of God is upon America. Oh, Lord, we pray, Father, for a witness of your miracle power. Miracle power. We rebuke and lay the axe to the root of coronavirus. In Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, we praise you. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Oh, Rana Maria, la Maria, la Ma. We praise you. We praise you. We adore you. We adore you. We adore you. We adore you. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, 
this name. Christ the Lord. The Spirit speaks into my heart right now. And he says, tell the people, walk by faith. 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 Oh, ha, ha. Yes, Lord. Walk by faith. Come on, church. Just pick your feet up and down right now. Come on. I'm walking by faith. Walking by faith. I don't walk by what my eyes see. <laughs> I don't walk by what the headlines say. No, no, no. I don't walk according to the newscast. No, I don't, I don't walk according to what the statistics say. No, I walk by faith. I walk according to the Word of God. I walk by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I walk by faith, not by sight. Walk by faith, not by sight. Walk by faith, not by sight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healed, healthy, well, strong in our bodies. Healed, healthy, well, and strong, strong, strong in our bodies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, the psalmist said, bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefits. He forgives all our iniquities. Come on, say amen. He healeth all our diseases. Well, all means all, whether you know what the name of them is or not. He heals all of them, every single one of them, all of them. He delivers our life from destruction. That's what the Word says. That's what the benefits of God are. He forgives all your iniquities, heals all your diseases, delivers your life from destruction. Pretty good benefit package. And that's Old Covenant. <laughs> it gets even better in New Covenant. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You know why the uh, New Covenant is better than the Old? Because in the Old Covenant, they had to take the animal to the altar. The priest would sacrifice. And they had to intercede for them. God, meet this need. But in the new covenant, glory to God, the blood has already been shed. Hallelujah. Our high priest sits on the right hand of the Father, and he always makes intercession for us. I don't have to take an animal anywhere. I just call on the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I say, thank you for healing me, Lord. Thank you for healing me, Lord. Thank you for healing me, Lord. Thank you for my healing. How many of y'all going to make a determination right now you're going to walk in health and healing all the days of your life? How many of y'all going to make a determination right now he renews your youth as the eagles? How many of y'all going to make a determination right now he has delivered you from destruction? Glory to God. He's crowned you with tender mercies and loving kindness. Praise God. He satisfies your mouth with good things. Hallelujah. How many of y'all going to make a determination? I'm going to walk by faith. And not by sight. Walk by faith. And not by sight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 There's only one person that can decide that you are going to walk by faith. And that's you. Amen. I can teach you the word. And I do. And I will. I can teach you the word. But you're the only one that's going to decide if you're going to receive it or not. I, I can't do it for you. I can encourage you in it. Can't do it for you. Hallelujah. But I know you got it. I said, I know you got it. Hallelujah, I know you got it. Hallelujah, I know you got it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, walk by faith. Praise you, Jesus. Not by sight. Hallelujah. You, you may be seated. If you have received the elements of communion, we're preparing to receive communion right now. Is that Keith and Valerie over there? Hey, guys. Yay. Keith and Valerie, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I, I can't lower Leah right back there. 
Hey. There's Kent and Laura Lee. Hey, Brian. We got Keith and Valerie and Kent Brian. and Laura Lee. Amen. Huh? What? Oh, we need some communion elements, my brother. <laughs> it's so good to see you guys, <laughs> Thank you. Kent and Laura Lee. <laughs> they, they need them up on the stage as well. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I'll get that and I'll get this. Well, the Bible the says the last shall be first. <laughs> <laughs> and the first shall be last. <laughs> Halle we don't want to miss out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, the Apostle Paul, in writing to the church at Corinth, said, For I have received of the Lord that which I have also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, in the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, and when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat of this bread and drink of this, the cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we should judge ourselves, we should not be judged. And the church said, Amen. And Amen. You should be a born-again believer before you partake of the elements of communion. And I will give you that opportunity right now, if there are any here that have never received Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, this is your opportunity. Uh, just raise your hand to say, yes, I would like to pray and receive Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. If that's you, go ahead and raise your hand right now. If you need to receive Jesus as your Savior. We're all going to heaven. You're not kidding me. You're really going to heaven. All right. Praise the Lord. The Bible also says that a man should examine himself. And uh, we should ask the Holy Spirit, is there anything in our heart that's not pleasing to the Lord? Uh, the Bible says don't grieve the Holy Spirit. We don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. So if there's any wayward thought, deed, action, any pattern of life that's not pleasing to God, let's get the help from the Holy Spirit right now and get the train back on the track. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, and if there's any part of our lives that doesn't line up with the will of God, the Word of God, anything that does not fulfill our purpose, our God assignment in this life, but hinders us, Lord, help us by the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, by your grace, Lord, to walk according to your Word, your will, in all things, in Jesus' name, and we say amen and amen. You may separate your cup at this time. You just take the top part off and you get the wafer. Let's go ahead and hold this up before the Lord. This is a sign and symbol of the body of Jesus Christ. I'm so thankful for the sinner's substitute. The Apostle Peter tells us that he bore our sins in his body and by his stripes we are healed. Aren't you thankful for the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world? I'm thankful for the body of Christ. He stood in judgment so that I do not have to be judged in my sins. My sins do not condemn me. <laughs> Come on, church. I am cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. You may partake. Now pulling back the lid of the juice cup. Hold the cup of blessing up before the Lord. This is a sign and symbol of the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that there is no other agent in the universe that can cleanse a man of his sins, only the blood of Jesus. Jesus said the new covenant was written in his blood, signed, sealed, delivered. Every promise of God, signed, sealed, delivered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for every covenant promise that we have due to the blood of Jesus Christ. 
And as we partake, Lord, we do so in remembrance of all that Jesus has done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen. You may partake. In just a moment, the usher will come along and you can put your elements in the little basket. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Come on, just give him praise for the blood. I thank you, Lord, because of Jesus. That was the greatest exchange ever. In Jesus' name, we love you, Lord. On bended knee, yes. I come with a heart. Bowing down before your holy throne, lifting holy hands to you as I pray. unto you, Father. I don't know about anybody else, but Lord, today that is the cry of my heart. Make my life 24-7 a holy praise unto you. Would you just say it, Lord, I give myself to you again, fresh and anew, to you today. Use me Use me, use me for your glory. And everybody said, amen. Well, just turn to one another and give them a high five or a fist bump or shoulder bump, whatever. It is so good to see you all. Y'all showed up. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is a good day at GVC. And if you are new to the house or you haven't been here in a while, we welcome you. We, it means a lot that you're here and that you trust us 
to come here. I'm going to tell you, this building has been sanitized. It is, it is ready. Amen. It is the safest place in America. Did you hear that online? It's the safest place in America. And we welcome you online that are watching with us today. It is so good to have you part of the GVC Media family. We love you, and we count it a great honor to have you with us today. And for those in the house that maybe if you're here for the first time or here the first time in a long time, someone will greet you in the very back. There's a welcome table there, and we have a gift for you, and it's got goodies in it that you want to take. It's got a pen and several things. It's a, it's a cup for you. And we just want to tell everybody, family, you mean the world to us. Would you give your family a hand? And we thank you for helping us with the COVID protocols. Uh, this is going to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you know every day we get closer to this thing ending? So hallelujah, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. And so I want to tell you Wednesday, as you know, our Wednesday services are online for right now. And, uh, and I'm looking at my announcements, and I grabbed an old one. And so anyhow, so I want to tell you about Tuesday. This is going to be Carla's first cooking class. And everybody, there is a lot of ladies signed up. And so uh, if you want to come, it's free. She's going to teach us how to make pumpkin cheesecake. Not that I will ever make it, but I'm coming for the tasting. I want to taste it. I can tell you right now, Jamie, it's never going to happen. But maybe Carla will make us one. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And so next Sunday is our 10th anniversary. <laughs> Amen. And uh, we're going to uh, recognize it and honor it next Sunday. But once the GVC whole family is back, we will do a major celebration with the whole family. But next week, listen, there's going to be some great giveaways. And the presence of the Lord will be here. And we will come together as a family to give God thanks for everything he has done. In spite of COVID, I'm going to tell you, God has been faithful to us. Glory Hallelujah. And then also next Sunday, and, and, and since I'm the only one that can put the plug out there, I want you to know it's Pastor Appreciation Day next Sunday. And I'm not saying that for us, but I'm saying that because we have some wonderful pastors. And if you'll bring a card and just write a note to them, you know, it's in your bulletin who our pastors are. And just thank them, because it's been 10 years, and they have served faithfully for 10 years. So we want to thank them next week. And then during the COVID time, we had two wonderful people go to glory, and that is Lorraine Polk and John Sipos. And Lorraine Polk, her family was so excited on the day that she went, because as you know, her husband Bill went to heaven just a few years ago. She was able to go to heaven on his birthday. And so she was in glory with him on his birthday, and that took all the sadness away from the family. And then John Sipos, she, he has been facing some illness for many years, and his wife Shirley is doing great. And she asked the Lord, Father, let me be with him when he transitions to heaven because he was in Timber Ridge. And she was there. And she said it was the sweetest, glorious thing. And so she is very happy that he is now totally healed and whole in the presence of God. Amen. Well, the Lord is good. Turn to somebody and just tell them you're loved. Would you welcome Pastor James? Praise the Lord. Just a note, I, John and Shirley did not pass away because of COVID, just during that time. I think COVID gets, everybody gets, I think COVID, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to say it. 
I, I, I heard somebody died in, in a motorcycle accident, and they listed it as a COVID death. And uh, so I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm not going to say anymore. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I could get on that horse and ride it, man. Glory to God. Uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 10, if you're faithful in the little things, you'll be faithful in the large things. As we prepare our hearts for the tithe and the offering this morning, I want you to receive that anointing of faithfulness that is on you. The Bible says if you're faithful in the little things, you'll be faithful in the large things. Uh, Too very often we say, well, I'll wait for the large things to happen in my life and then I'll do something great for God. Uh, No, you start with the little things. The big things will come. The big things will come if you are faithful with the little things. If you're dishonest in the little things, you won't be honest with the greater responsibilities. If you're untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? And if you're not faithful with other people's things, why should you be trusted with things of your own? No one can have two masters, for if you, you will hate the one, love the other, you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Uh, You're not supposed to serve both God and money. You serve God and let money serve you. Money is a tool in the hand of a righteous person. And so you serve God and let God bring resources into your life that you will be faithful with. And when you're faithful with, watch those resources grow. Oh, come on. Watch that prosperity come in the name of Jesus. So as we prepare our heart right now to receive the tithe and the offering, the worship team is going to come, minister a song. You go ahead and make out your tithe and offering. Put it in the envelope. Hold on to it. And then at the end of the service, as you're going out the door, you can just drop it in the baskets that are located beside the door. And again, we thank you for your faithfulness. Let's worship the Lord and bless the Lord with our giving this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to serve you, to worship you, to obey you in our giving this morning. We pray, Lord, that this is good seed sown into good ground, bringing forth a harvest of souls saved, body seals, lives changed. In Jesus' name we pray, and we say amen and amen. You in your life we find what makes us come alive, a sacrifice of praise. A city on a hill, surrender to your will, a glory on display. Your glory on display, awesome in this place. Jesus, you are awesome in this place. Worthy to be praised. Jesus, you are worthy to be awesome in this place. Awesome in this place.